I want to try an experiment here. We paid $5 for this at a garage sale and it is new, brand new in the box. I'm going to list it on eBay and let's see if we can get it sold. Oh, are you itchy, Ma? Oh. Uh -oh. Let's see if we can get this sold by the time we publish this video. Welcome to another video. It is 10 a.m. on a Monday. If you watched the end of our last video, you would have seen this same shot. <laughs> It is Monday, April 3rd, and I'm sitting outside of a Goodwill. There is already a line in front of the Goodwill. Actually, they just opened the doors. So I'm here right as they open, have no idea if they put out new stuff. Usually I come at like 10.30 because they're putting stuff out in the morning, but maybe I'll catch something good right as they open. A little Champion reverse weave for $8. It is a newer reverse weave. Kind of cool color though pink color this is a really nice patagonia sweater they want ten dollars for it but i like the little x games patch on the sleeve and it's in it's in good condition so even though it's ten dollars i'm gonna pick it up and let's see if we can get maybe i don't know 40 bucks for it i know these shoes these are the adidas ultra boost 21 i think they're called triple black we've sold these before we get like 50 60 bucks for these this is a billionaire boys club shirt it's a nice little like bleach tie-dye job i believe it's real size extra large yeah the tag looks fine five dollars on this i'll take a shot so i spent 35 dollars in four things so an average of uh i said eight dollars and 75 cents an item not too bad <laughs> never for sale so i'm on my way to the warehouse i did stop at this goodwill really quick it's 1 p.m now and callie is actually up at the warehouse shipping some of our ebay sales from over the weekend and we had some pretty good ones so here's callie with some good like be on the lookout type sales that we had over the weekend. Oh, what's going on guys and welcome to Callie Talks about some eBay sales that we had over the weekend. All right, let's go. Let's take a look at what we sold, okay? <laughs> All, right. All right, up first, some bread and butter for us. We got some Chubby's bathing suit swim trunks. These sold for $21.22. Then we have this beautiful Beijing and China Starbucks coffee set. This sold for $22.77. Then we got these Rothy's. Ryan found these in New York and had a a fun time buying these from some crazy lady. <laughs> okay. But anyway, those ones sold for $65. And then we've got this nice green pair of Rothy's. Uh, nice flats here. Those also sold for uh, some nice money. $88 to be exact. And then the, the banger of a find. I think, uh, I don't remember where Ryan found these, if it was New York or not. These are Fry Montana Wedge Work Boots. And they sold for a whopping $120. Uh, back to you, Ryan. Well, thank goodness for other ways of sourcing besides just going to thrift stores, Goodwill, leaving empty-handed. Uh, that's the way it is a lot of the time, actually. At least one out of three thrift stores we go to, we leave empty-handed. It's the realities of reselling. Hello, Ranch. You know what? The grass is getting kind of long, especially over there. More like weeds than grass, but maybe I'll grab the mower and do some mowing today. Let's see what's in the mail today. I believe I paid $700 for this stack. Size extra large, public enemy. Classic shirt here. Quick test for dry rot. Good to go. Next up on the 80s Badger XL tag. Nice little Grateful Dead. Good size on this one. Steal Your Face dated 1987. Next up, we have a Tesla shirt. On the Giant by TJ's tag, size extra large, front and back. 1992 Tesla Live. Next on that size extra large Fruit of the Loom tag, pretty classic graphic here. We have the Pearl Jam Future. And last but not least, the shirt that I paid the most money for, the one that should make this whole lot. No tag on this one, but it is single stitch. It's got some wear to it, but we have the Taxi Driver Mosquito Head shirts not one that pops up very often and it'll go quite nicely next to my other taxi driver shirts next bag <laughs> on the fruit of the loom best size double xl we've got the great god honor and glory for all his name pretty rare tea it's about a 300 dollars plus tea oh and this lots i'm not totally sure how much i paid for maybe you guys let me know in the comments what do you think a good price on this lot should be next one up on the accord tag the mike tyson 1995. This is the white version of this shirt and it'll go really nice with the blue version of the shirt. 
that I have. Next up on the Winterland XL tag, the Jay-Z. Good size with that Rockefeller Records back hit. And last but not least, a shirt I've had a few times. I always love this shirt. I might actually keep this one for a little bit if it fits me. Size extra large on the Winterland tag. The Pulp Fiction poster tee, Uma Thurman. One more dry rot test. Good, very, very good. This one's faded really nicely too. So that's today's mail. Hopefully you guys liked it. Is this, does this count as drinking and driving? Let's just keep this one between us. Don't try this at home, kids. You think I'm low on gas. Let's try that again. Also, I know, I know, I know you're gonna comment that we should have got a zero turn mower. But you know what? That one was from a garage sale and we got a really good deal on it and it does the job. Just like this does the job. The Nike boots, those are so funny. They're eights. Really? Those are eights? These are 30. We just, he wore them three times. I just <laughs> bought them six months ago for a hundred. <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. And, um, these are the, the latest Adidas came out with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, um, the and then, then she's like, what, 20, 25? Yeah, 20 bucks. Nice. Really? Those are Uggs? Yeah. Do you have change for a 10? Um, Frenchie. Yes. Change for a 10. I, if you give me a second. Oh, no worries. Hey, there's a bubble nice. machine. The dogs would go crazy for a bubble machine. What does she want for your wish? One dollar. Oh, okay. I'll risk it for a dollar. <laughs> a dollar. It's kind of fun. She's creepy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. No shoes? No. This is cool. See that? Ellie? Oh, it's like actually solid wood. It's a smart construction. Yeah. Look, guys, that's our friend Chris, the guy that knows about case knives and what else? This is our country friend Chris. <laughs> country friend Chris. He's got a mullet. He know about fishing. Hey. He likes to hunt them squirrels. Dude, that mullet is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Let me it's see your witch. Show me. I don't know if it works, but she's creepy and cool. Yeah, she's pretty cool. For a dollar, yeah, totally worth it. Nice. You can age stuff like this too if you mix like water and brown paint and you just kind of like wash it. It makes it look older and more hey, good tip. and expensive. <laughs> Elevate your decor. This is a Star Wars bag, Allie. Oh, it's a cooler bag. Oh. It's pretty you cool. You guys should get it because preemptively you might have a made of orange. Is that good? What $2 each for the sockets? Look at these things. Dude, look at that. What are you taking off of that? Dude, there's such good CDs in here. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. There's some good ones. Metallica. All the journey. Can leave the nickel bag? Can the nickel bag. Heat sweat. The Judas Breeze. Coolio Gangster's Paradise. Dude, there's probably some that are like. I just don't know much about CDs. I feel like I really missed out on some of the CDs. There's some really cool CDs in there, and I'm sure they're worth money, but. 
I don't know. Let me know in the comments if I've really messed up. But this is good. I got this for $5 and it looks like it is brand new. I don't think it's been opened. It's a quick like $80 to $100 flip. Oh, nice. Yeah. There are a ton of coach shoes over there, uh, but they don't usually do too well for us. Little candlesticks? I got some candlesticks. Congrats. How much? $5. $5. Overpaid. What? <laughs> Just kidding. In the trash. This is for keeping your minnows alive. Oh. oh. Little bubble box. I don't know what that is. There's a little adapter there. I kind of want to take a peek in these clothes right that here. That adapter looks pretty useful, doesn't it? It does. Do you need an adapter? Nah. Oh, wait, babe, look, it's an extra one. It's an extra. Oh, that's an apple. Here you go. We need that. Do we? Yeah, are you kidding me? You definitely need that. Okay, sweet. What we'll are you finding in the trash here? Some metal bowls. Ooh, that's a dongle. They're no skid bowls. Look, babe, that's a USB dongle. Oh, we need that. Sweet. What is that? USB dongle. Oh. USB C to. Let's go, trash. What else is in the trash? There's an Apple Watch charger. That's what that is? Right? I don't know. So there's don't... an Apple Watch charger right there. Oh, right here. Let's go. Okay, whole Apple Watch charger. <laughs> Is this an Apple product too? Oh, it's Samsung. Huh. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Gotta love it. HDMI ports. It works. It yeah, works. We go fishing now. Yeah, you put that on the for bait, right? On the you clip this on a little bucket or whatever. Yeah. You run a little tube to a, a little air stone, and it just bubbles okay. in the water, and it keeps air so that minnows can stay alive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god! It's <sighs> for Jen. <laughs> Cute. That is so funny. Si, señor. How much on the shoes, man? Forty. Forty. I knew she was like, brand, brand new, um, the a, price was it over Is it a, a men's nine or a women's nine? No, uh, men's. Men's nine? Yeah. yeah. Would you do 25? Let's do 30. 30? Yeah. No, they were not. They were 120 for yeah, real, but yeah. you cannot I, sell for that price. I know. So I he know. told me mom 40, I was like, okay, let's do 30. Okay, I'll do 30. Okay. Thank you, thank you. No problem. Did you this backpack? Oh, it's a, it's a Stella McCartney one. That's cool. A 10 on this one. I don't know. A 10 on this one. Okay. Probably worth it. Yeah? Hold yeah. on to it. I had a feeling you would say yes. But we won't get it till we know. Right? Yeah. So, I'll hold on to it. Someone can just take it out of my hands. We'll it's cool. Well, we'll that. That's going to be <laughs> there are a ton of shoes here. Those Legos here? Yeah. 30 bucks for the Lego Sport Why are there J. so many? Oh, uh, they tried to flip them because there's a bunch of the same ones. Uh, I tried to buy a bunch. This one's 10? Okay. How much was this one? Oh, I'm sorry. Drop still. Oh, the Toon Squad ones? Yeah, they're cool. This one's 10 too. So 20 for the, for the pair? Yeah. 20 bucks? Cool. I knew there would be something in this bag. Look, look at that. It's hilarious. <laughs> look at that gator. That's a fun one. Let's see what else is in this bag. Oh, that's cool. Psalm 23, Jesus too. It's got some stains, but not too bad. Yo, that's the coolest tackle box I've ever <laughs> seen. Hey, the White Ranger. 95, anything in it? Yeah, just some markers and stuff. Oh my god. worth it for the tackle Yo, box. Oh, let's go. So awesome. This is cool, what's this? Longboard ish thing, it's heavy. Oh, it is, yeah. Oh, wow, it's like embossed tonic skateboards, yeah. Or but it's very, yeah. But it, That's I think cool. it had like metal. Too. All right, Chris, let's That's go. Very, yeah. You got a penny board? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. So I'm back in Lakeland hitting some thrift stores. I met my dad out here for lunch, which is something that we do often. Um, my dad also owns his own business. So sometimes we, we meet up and we get to chat and talk business. My dad and I have actually owned businesses together and I learned most of what I know about business 
from my dad. So it's cool to have lunch with him and like get to bounce business ideas off of each other. We still get to do that, which is awesome. Plus I get to see my dad, which is really nice. So just had lunch and now I'm, I'm gonna hit a couple thrift stores before I head home uh, just to try to miss traffic. Let's see if I can find anything good to flip onto eBay. Some Doc Martens Airwear boots. They look like, they're definitely used, but they look like they're in pretty decent condition. $7, we usually flip these for around like 60 bucks. So I'm definitely gonna pick them up. This one looks like it's in, it's in good condition too. Oh my gosh, look at the pattern on this vintage Wrangler pearl snap shirt. I wish it was long sleeve, but even the short sleeve one in this pattern and size, I still think we can probably get like 50 bucks for the shirt. And here's another vintage Wrangler pearl snap shirt. This one is that nice heavy denim and the size is crazy. It is a 4X size. So even though it's $11, I think we can get like $40 for this one. Still picking it up. All right, good. Well, let's see what you got today. Oh my gosh. Allie is going to love this. I, I hope this shirt fits her. Single stitch. I think this is 80s. I believe it's an 80s SeaWorld shirt or maybe like early, early 90s size medium. Let's see if it has a back. Oh, it's got a back too. Wow. This is incredible. I hope Allie loves it. I can't believe this is still here on the rack. You got the liquid blue Jimi Hendrix tie-dye t-shirt. This thing is awesome. Even though it's on a newer liquid blue tag, it is still on a liquid blue gray tag and it's only five bucks. I think we can get maybe $50 for the shirt. This is a new one for me. Rain and Spooner, usually those uh, button, button up t-shirts, but for $3, a bucket hat, I'll pick it up. Hey, hey, do you like it? I love it, Yay. Do you like it? I think she likes it, guys. <laughs> Love it. What's going on, everybody? Uh, back with some more sales. We listed this J. Cole vinyl album. Uh, there's two of them in there, and it sold for $85. And then Ryan literally listed this yesterday, I'm pretty sure. But this TRX Go a uh, suspension trainer thingy sold for $100 that quickly. Uh, isn't it crazy? This is my favorite thing that we found in the trash at that garage sale or next to that garage sale. This is pretty cool. These are actually kind of expensive, like the genuine Apple ones. And I love it because I just had this dumb little charger and this one extends it out nicely. And there were two of these, so for free in the trash. Let's go trash. But hey, I think this is probably a good place to end today's video. I just want to say thank you guys so much again. Your support on our videos lately has been amazing. We hit 200,000 subscribers. Let's go on to 300,000. Thank you guys again so much for all the support. We have some really cool travel plans coming up as well. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next one. Love y'all. Bye-bye.